uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically you can create a gui application inside python using the tweakinter framework we will be generating the pdf document from a raw text here inside python let me show you the application so python app.py let me launch this application so you will see that basically we have a text area here we can write multi line text here raw text let me just write this text here you can create as many spaces as you want any number of lines you can write here raw text you can have as many spaces as you want just format these document as you can see you can just write uh, any number of lines here and then basically we have a button out there which uh, lets you export all the text that you have written into a pdf document if i click this button it will ask me the per, uh, just location where we need to save the file so let me save it inside my downloads folder so let me say here result dot pdf so basically if i select here click on save you will see the file is saved here so now if i want to open that file i can go into the result dot pdf so this is basically the file if i open it inside the browser you will see all the formatting is preserved out there you will see this is the first line second line and all the spaces that i given it calculated the space accordingly and using the fpdf library it basically calculated four pages will be required for that text so four pages were created it the pages were added automatically it automatically calculated the space out there so let's suppose now if you just are copy pasting some kind of an article let's suppose we go to here so if you have a lot of formatting out there let's suppose i paste this one if i copy this paste it here if i just delete all this so you can see that basically this is the text area that we copy pasted all the text here if i now click the button so it will now once again let me replace it already exist do you want to replace it yeah so i will yes here and now if i refresh it you will now see let me open that once again inside the download folder so now if i open this here uh, i think we need to click on this button once again and now let me say india wiki and let me save it once again click on save option so i think now if i check you will now see let me just run this application once again i think yeah okay it cannot uh, codec cannot encode character so there was some special spaces were there so basically you can just uh, export some raw text which is there you it cannot be encoding special characters inside this that's why some created error so you can just just export normal text which is there inside if you click it convert to pdf it will ask for the location simply replace it so once again if you if you open it now you will now see it will now automatically convert it to a pdf document so for this guys we are using fpdf library for building this desktop application so if you just write fpdf it's a php live php class which allows you to generate pdf files with pure php so we are using this fpdf library inside our python as a python package inside our tweakinter library so tweakinter if you don't know it's a gui building framework for python so with the help of this we are able to make a desktop applications so all the source code is given in the description of the video guys i have written a complete blog post explaining each instruction in detail so if you want the full source code you can go to the description of this video to copy paste all the source code and alongside with watching this video so let's start this video so the very first thing we will do you need to first of all go to the uh command line and simply install this package which is pip install fpdf so this is the package we, we need to install so i have already installed it so after you install it just make a app.py file and here first of all we need to import the tweakinter library as tk and then we from the tweakinter library we just need to import the file dialog 
class which allows the user to select the location where with they need to save the PDF file and then we will be importing the FPDF class like this and then we will be constructing a very basic Twikinter application using TK constructor then we will be setting the title so here we can say that text to PDF converter application and then basically we will be initializing a simple text on the screen so we will say we will pass the window like this and we will show this window on the screen by using the pack method like this so this will simply display this heading on the screen text to PDF converter and after this we just need to basically show something on the screen so we will now run this application window dot main loop that's all so this will now run the main loop now if I run the application python app dot py you will see a window will be there and there will be this text to pdf converter here we can write something here on the screen so now we just need to have a simple button out there which allows you to convert this all this text to a pdf document so for having this button we will use the button widget so we will simply use inside this button widget and here we will simply add this button to the window and here we will put the text of the button so we will simply say that the button text will be convert to PDF like this that's all and now if you reload the application you will now see a button will be added right here at the bottom screen you can see uh, the button is not added for adding that button we just need to call that pack method so button dot pack so anytime you need to add this widget on the screen you use the pack method so now you will be able to see the button out there you will see that now we just need to invoke some kind of a method whenever we click this but, uh, button we just need to execute some kind of instruction so for using this we can provide a property called as command so whenever we click this button we need to execute a method out there so that method can be anything so we can just write here convert underscore to PDF like this so now we just need to define this method guys so whenever we click this button this method will automatically execute so we will define this method right here define convert to PDF so inside this method guys first of all we will get the content inside the text area just this needs to be a colon so text content so whatever text the user writes we will get this using the get method text.get so it will return the text for us so 1.0 and end like this so this will get all the text that the user write and now we just need to construct the PDF document using fpdf dot fpdf like this so you will call this constructor and now to add the pages you will simply pdf dot add page you will add the page here like this so this will add a new page in the PDF document and now we can even set the PDF font as well custom fonts by using this method which is set underscore font this is basically the method and here we can set the custom font out there which is Arial and we can even specify the size as well which is 12 and now we will be adding the text to the PDF document by using a multi cell method multi cell and which will uh, insert multiple lines of text inside the PDF document at one go you will provide the X coordinate Y coordinate and then you will provide the text property so here you just need to output the text here whichever user has submitted this will be text content that's all and now we will allow the user to sub, uh, save the file at a custom file path we will show basically a file dialog so we will say file dialog dot ask save as file name inside that we will provide the default extension to be PDF so if the user doesn't provide the extension that uh, automatically PDF will be taken default extension that's all so now we just need to output PDF dot output we need to output at that custom file path that's all so this is your application guys to enter applications so we will see when we hit this button this function will execute inside this function we are getting the content then we are 
adding a new PDF document using FPDF, adding a new page, setting the font and then inserting multiple lines of text using multi underscore cell and then asking the user to save the file at a particular location and then outputting it. This is all the desktop application. Now if I now try to run this application. So now if I say, uh, let's suppose if I write something here, create space here. So now you will see all the formatting will be preserved inside the PDF document. It will calculate how many pages will be required for this uh, text out there. If I now click convert to PDF, you will ask for the location. Let me uh, result.pdf. So now if I open that location, which is this one, if I open this inside the browser, you will now see three pages are calculated automatically. You will see that auto all the preserved uh, formatting is preserved. So in this way, guys, you can export the normal text to a PDF document instantly using FPDF library inside Twikinter framework. This is basically a desktop application that you can deploy and use it on a daily basis in order to construct PDF document. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next video. All the source code is given in the description of this video.